the kimono. Isn't that a type of like <laughs> lizard dragon? Oh, the wonderful thing. <laughs> Mix it up. What's up, church kids? And happy Sunday! And happy Father's Day! Yeah, wait, wait, wait. stop right now. It, it's Father's Day? Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment for the longest time. What are you talking about? Hold on, church kids, teachers, Christina, just wait for a moment, sit tight, while I just, I'm just gonna do some dad things real quick, okay? <laughs> Hey, who touched the thermostat? It was at 73 this morning, and I swear I set it to 74. Oh, waking up at 9 a.m., just in time for dinner. I've been up since four. Hey, has anyone seen my glasses? Cody, I know you moved them again. Stop denying it. Hey, have you checked the oil lately on your car? <sighs> now, how did you say to open these Instagrams again? Kids, everyone, wake up. We gotta be at the airport in 12 hours. <sighs> okay, well, thank you for that, Teacher Chase. No problem. Church kids, we are gonna get into some worship, but before we do, we just wanna remind you that next weekend is Silly Sunday. We're gonna have a summer bash, so grab your best pool floaties, your goggles, your flippers. Beach towels, bath toys, swim caps, water wings, anything else that makes you think of summer and get ready for our Silly Sunday. All right, Teacher Chase, are you ready to get into today's lesson? Sure am, let's do it. Church kids, don't forget, it's a great day. To be a church kid! Yeah, 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 yeah,
up church kids friends it is i teacher jeremiah and we're gonna play a game Kiki. for this game all you're gonna need is five pieces of paper and five cups and i like to call this game paper basketball <laughs> Basketball, basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way you jump it up and down the court. And then zoom, zoom, zoom. trust me, you're gonna want to stretch before this game. <sighs> Drink your water, get your vitamins and your minerals, cause it's gonna get serious. Okay, hope you're laced up and all ready to go. Cause now I'm gonna show you how to play the game. You're gonna wanna find a place like this to set up all five of your cups. Once you have your cup set up, you're gonna wanna take your paper and crumble them up. Oh yeah, my favorite part. Once all your papers are crumbled up, you're gonna take three big steps away from your cups and from that spot, you have 60 seconds to make one ball into each cup. If you can, go ahead and take a picture and tag us on Instagram at Champion Center Church Kids. Let's see how I do. All of those definitely went in. I don't miss. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Playing all that basketball made me so sweaty. <sighs> all right, let's see what you got. If you have all your cups set up and all your papers crumpled up, get ready to shoot in three, two, one, go! Church kids, it's your boy, Champ the Bear, and I'm so excited to be with you today. We cannot wait to see you again. I, I personally cannot wait to give you a big old bear hug when we're back at church, but today I'm going to be teaching you a new memory verse rap. It's found in Matthew 544. So if you're sitting down, we need you to jump to your feet and let's do this together. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Say what? Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Say it with me now. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Oh yeah. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Let's speed it up now. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Say what? Yep. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Woo! Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Yep. Because yep. God loves me, now I choose to love you. I choose to because love. God loves me, now I choose to love you. I choose. Let's ask God for grace to receive and to give. If it were not for Jesus, we'd be dead in our sins. That's right. Matthew 5, 44, that's where it's found. Matthew, Matthew 5, 44, that's where it's found. found. 
Matthew 5, 44, that's where it's found. Matthew, Matthew 5, 44, that's where it's, where it's found. Go ahead, church kid, repeat the sound. Repeat. Go ahead, church kid, repeat the repeat. sound. Let's love our enemy, our mother, and our brother, and our dad, and our friend, and our sister, and everyone in our life. Cherry aroma slightly overpowered by, what is that? A stone fruit? Peach, perhaps. All right, texture is firm, not too squishy. Dissolves quickly. Cherry flavor is tart, but not too sweet. Okay. I would say that that is the very scary cherry variety of George's own Bulldog Gummy Bear Emporium. <laughs> Ah, 10 for 10. Who's got two thumbs and noses gummy bears? This guy. All right. All right. Okay, this one's firm, possibly stale or perfectly aged. Mike, I've been looking for one of my earrings. The ruby red ones, you know, with the big gym. Mm, could they be described as crunchy, silver metallic taste, and painful on the throat? Um weird, but yeah, I guess. Why? Because <laughs> uh, I think I found him. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is how we learn the importance of being loyal. Okay, so Maurice is doing monthly maintenance, Luke is doing code checks, and you can help me with any field office reports? Yep. Perfect. And thanks again, Harper, for filling in for Dot while she's sick. Glad I could help. I know she'd do the same thing for me. <laughs> the elevator is currently violating 71. 71 safety violations. We're going to have to take the stairs till Maurice can fix it. Oh, the stairs. But before Maurice can start working, I'm gonna have to go and post signs on all 44s to alert everyone. Can anyone help me? <laughs> Count me in. Me too. You know what? I am very proud of the loyalty you've been showing your friends today, Harper. You too, Mike. Don't you think we should reward such loyalty? What do you mean? Behold, the Connect Loyalty Program. So I figured since we're already supporting each other and helping each other out, we should get a big reward. So how does it work? Well, every time you are loyal, you earn a star. Every time you get 10 stars, you get an epic reward. And what's the reward? Uh, uh, a big sandwich or a long nap. I would like either or both. Well, while uh, you're earning your first star, I'll be up making my way to the top, posting all the signs. Come find me. <laughs> and Mike, can you help me fix my bike later? The race is tomorrow. Oh yeah, I did promise that, didn't I? Hmm, well, gotta earn those stars, but first, I gotta be loyal to my favorite TV show, Space Cats. Boom, first star. Okay. I'm not quite sure that TV shows count, but I really feel like we can use the loyalty program to become better friends. A good friend is loyal after all. Yeah, I just don't understand how he's gonna get everything done that he's promised to do today. Hmm. Look, a message from our field office in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh, hi there, HQ. This is my new friend, Emma. We were just fishing for trout when she told me about something that's colder than being snow stayed on a below day. I figured she'd better be calling in to see if you can help her out. Hi everybody, my best friend just told me she can't go to the movies because she has to finish her science project first. She thought that we could work on together and see the movie tomorrow, but that doesn't sound very fun, don't you know? I really want to see this movie now, what should I do? Well, for Trouble Connect HQ, I sure hope you can help her out. 
It sounds like Emma's thinking about being a fair weather friend. What's that? Well, it's whenever you're friends with someone, as long as it's fun for you. But whenever they need you most, you don't show up. Yikes. Yeah, but I bet if we put our heads together, we can help her make the right decision. Oh, stairs. So many stairs. Back already? Yeah, I forgot to give myself a star for how loyally I'm going to be giving out stars. <laughs> oh, and look at you guys being so loyal to our mission. <laughs> stars all around. Thanks, Mike. Have you helped Luke post the signs yet? No, I've, I've promised uh, Chef Elaine that I was going to help her taste test all her new dessert. Another star. Anyways, see ya. I'll see you later, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I promised. Adios. <laughs> And that is how the 703.2 became the 703.3. Fascinating. Isn't it? Remind me to tell you about the first time I wrote a citation for the unsafe storage of radioactive dairy products. Anyway, back to it. Thank you for the water. Yeah, I thought you might need some since you were climbing up all those stairs. <gasps> Star for you, Harper. That's very, very loyal indeed. Whew, and star for you, Luke, for literally keeping Connect HQ safe. Now, when are those elevators gonna be fixed? Well, as soon as we get all the sign posted, and uh, could you help maybe a bit? Yes, absolutely. Just not right now, because I added a whole bunch of things to my loyalty list, and after they're done, I'll catch up with you. Are you sure you're gonna have time for all of that? Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have 30 floors between me and the sandwich. I think he's missing a big part about being loyal. I mean, he's supposed to be loyal to people, not sandwiches. Yeah, and he told me that he was going to help me fix my bike, but I'm worried that he's going to have too many things to do now. I trust he'll do the right thing. I mean, your friends and good friends are loyal. That's a good point. Good friends are loyal. And it sounds like something that can help Emma. Daily afternoon sandwich, check. I'll always be loyal to you, my doughy friend. Mm, so good. Mike! Mm, uh, Ray! Have you seen Harper or Luke? Uh, a while ago. Oh, maybe. I'm so sorry. I must get back to sleep. I'm very loyal to these naps, and I'm almost at 10 stars, so good day. Uh, Mike! The only thing that you've been loyal to today is fun. 
Fun is fun. That's not what loyalty is about. Those stars shouldn't have come that easy. Well, they didn't. It was really hard doing all those things. I took like a million steps today. So, I think I found a great Bible story for Emma, a call in from our North Dakota office. It's the story of Ruth and Naomi, and it's a great example about what true loyalty really is. And I'd like to know what you think. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let it blow up all the cages, let this show go live Let his word explode from this video into your life A famine came to Israel. Elimelech, Naomi, and their sons went to Moab to find food. Elimelech died. The sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then the sons died too. The three women had no husbands. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go home. Stay in Moab, she said to her daughters-in-law. It's your home. Orpah stayed, but Ruth said, Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. It was harvest time in Israel. Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grain left behind in a field. The field belonged to Boaz, Elimelech's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. You were very kind to Naomi, Boaz said. Leaving home must have been hard. May God bless you. He gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. Ruth told Naomi what happened. Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their kinsman redeemer. Boaz is our kinsman redeemer. Stay close to him. So Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz bought Elimelech's land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him. Ruth had a son called Obed. Obed's son was Jesse. Jesse's son was David, and David became Israel's greatest king. So God blessed Ruth just as Boaz had prayed. See, Ruth had every reason to leave Naomi to return to an easier life. But Naomi was going through a tough time, and Ruth couldn't leave her like that. By staying with Naomi, Ruth showed that she was truly a loyal friend. But what about all that stuff that Ruth was giving up? Those are important too. Yeah, but our friends are always more important, and we show that by being there for them, especially when they're in need. No matter what fun stuff you may have to skip out on, it's simple. Good friends are loyal. Oh, no. I think I've been loyal to the wrong thing. I should have been there for Luke and Harper. They definitely deserve some stars. I mean, Harper, she set a great example by being there for her friends today. She reminds me of this verse in the Bible. You want to hear it? I could use a dose of wisdom right now. <gasps> Mike, I didn't know you were going to make it. I'm so sorry. I was being loyal to fun and rewards, and I wasn't there for my friends when they needed me most. Yeah, Luke and I definitely missed you on hanging up the signs. I know, I've been a real fair-weathered friend. Ray shared the story of Naomi and Ruth with me and showed me a verse that reminded me of what's important. Do you want to see it? Sure. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend is always loyal. A friend is always loyal. And a brother is born to help in time of need. And a brother is born to help in time of need. I like it. And that's going to help Emma too. I'm glad you're here, Mike. Me too. Now, let's get to fixing your bike. 
Now, I had a few ideas for some improvements, two of which involve a jetpack. Are you going to be wearing a helmet? Did you say jetpack? How do you feel about going 200 miles an hour? No. Okay, uh, what about wings and lasers? Mike! Oh, Emma, it's that monster trout again. Oh, don't you know, Connect HQ already messaged us back with an answer. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, here, take this. Whoa. Come here, big fella. Hey, Emma, my name is Harper. And I'm Mike. And we're part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Proverbs. Say it with us like this. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend is always loyal. And, and a brother, brother is born to help in a time of need. Good job. And it's good to hang out with friends when it's fun. But it's even more important to be there for them when they need it most. In the Bible, Naomi was really hurting after her sons died. And all her friends were leaving her. But Ruth stayed with Naomi, showing how much she cared for their friendship. We found out that being loyal only when it sounds fun or just to get a reward isn't really being loyal at all. We don't turn our backs on our friends. Helping your friend with a project, spending time with them when they're sad, or even going to a basketball game are all great opportunities to show them that you care. Remember, good friends are loyal. Thanks, Emma. Have fun, and remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You betcha. Thanks, Connect HQ. You're the peace that tames the beast within